Okay, this is uh, Team Snow Problem here. Uh, one new addition we're going to try to add to our grippers here, our little feelers or fingers on the edge of this. And this is to help us to grab the toes because the toes do have a, uh, a lip and it can actually slide underneath them if you have something small. So we're thinking that maybe using something like pneumatic tubing here will help us to get a better grasp on the totes, which we were having a little bit of trouble grasping earlier. So here's our test. Uh, so you can open. Okay, and we're underneath. Oh, not the battery. Okay, and close. Okay, and we're up. And it's actually... Not so all of the feelers engaged. Two of these are in. Two of those are in. All three are in and It's there. actually holding much better, I think, than it was in the previous. And we don't even have these arms perfectly aligned. These are the same alignment that we had on the arms before where it was slipping off. But now it is holding. Let's, uh, let's uh, well. kind of toss it around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it still bounces up and down, but, but it's not it, really doesn't, it doesn't even go back off, which. You know, last time it slid off really easily, and now it's very good. So here we are. We've um, completed our previous test, which had three feelers on the um, grippers, and we decided that we liked it so much that we put eight grippers on either side, uh, nine on this side actually. So just a whole bunch of feelers, and we think this is just going to give us masterful control over the tote. We also added in um, this green tape that we love. So, what's the name of this stuff? I don't uh, it's, it's from 3M. Oh. Uh, it's sticky tape name. from 3M that we don't know the name of. <laughs> yeah, it says product 500, so that helps. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, and we liked that grip, and before we just had duct tape, and now we've got this green tape over it. So, uh, we're going to try picking up the tote first, and then we'll also just make sure that it works with the recycling container. So, can you open up? Okay, and close. Okay, and going up. And now, um, actually, so if you look at it now, the feelers on this side engaged over here. All of them kind of went under, um, and are the, especially these back ones are gripping a lot. If you look over on this side, we actually have um, these back ones over here missed, but these ones over here. Uh, some of these are attaching, so let's, so let's play appear, around with it. It a appears bit. we're at sl a slight angle, so I mean, if we it's, it mis is if we're misaligned, it seems to be able to grab it. But it does, yeah. It seems to help a lot with the grabbing because yeah, we would not have been able to do that, <laughs> I don't think, without the, no. the feelers. That's a really good grip. Um, so uh, feelers all the way. So let's um, let's, can let's we stack let go. This? Let's stack this. Oh, let's stack it. Pretty so, sure we can. Right. Why don't you, you should let go. Turn to your side. Okay, open. Okay. And then we're just going to try really quick the recycling container to make sure that these feelers don't mess with our ability to pick up the recycling container because that is the higher priority that we decided on. So, um, recycling container. Okay, so engage. And we still can hold it well. Um, actually, I'm wondering if some of the. Um, actually, let's set it down. Gonna take it open. Okay. I'm actually wondering if some of these little indents here are actually helping to grip this recycling container over here instead of just the flat, because it wasn't uh, torquing nearly as much as it was before when we just had the flat edges. So. Um, you know, it's not nearly as pretty as it was when it was all flat, but it seems to be more effective all around in both cases.